Filming life from a third story, one bedroom apartment in North Mishawaki, Indiana. It's the Handlebar Growing Mustache Extravaganza. With your host, Dave. Handlebar Mustache Show. Handlebar Mustache Show. Stash is looking great. But we can't be late. For the Handlebar Mustache Show. Welcome back to year four, day 63, take two. Hooligan Riot Edition. Well... When I was working at the brewery in the 90s, my friend Russ had a band called Hooligan Riot. And they were pretty riotous. I saw them play a couple times. They played loud and fast and angry. Just like the rioters in Baltimore. But they didn't burn anything down. So I think that'd be the key difference between a hooligan rioter and somebody who would just, you know, riot, riot. So, I, I can't say I'm for rioting, but sometimes it's, um, it's, um, the symptom of something deeper, deeper. Anyway, Fat, is that you? Hey, Fat, what's up? Hanging out here over in the closed area in Northeast Washington. I mean, South Bend, excuse me. Oh, yeah, South Bend. They're having their big 150th anniversary coming up soon. Sounds oh, great. I can't wait. I was in the bathroom at work, a couple of them. I guess it must have been last Saturday. And this guy goes, are we in South Bend? And I said, yes, we have a South Bend address. Yeah. And he said, well, I think he was from Illinois. He was for a softball tournament. Um, so, anyway, we got to talking a little bit. I'm pretty friendly. Even in the bathroom, I'm pretty friendly. That's the last thing I want to hear. I mean, I'm not friendly like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't, don't misunderstand, Pat. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Yeah, so, anyway, work tonight. Mm, it went okay. Um, it's always rough because Lori wants to be out of there because she's going to come in early on Wednesday. So yeah, she's up. She yeah, that's kind of a rough shift. The best shift is when you open on, say, a Tuesday, and then you get off about 4 in the afternoon, and then you have the next day all the way off. And then you don't have to come in till four the next day. That's the ah, good. That kind of sounds like a day smell special schedule. Yeah, I got a few extra days in there, you know, off. But I guess I need it. I'm a difficult case. The paper but came and took my picture at the. It's pretty hard to book you when you're always doing speaking engagements and. Television interviews and talking to Sunny One Hundred One Point Five. My goodness. Yeah, the manager at the uh, laundromat went and talked to the guys and said, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> they said, "Don't worry, we're just taking a picture of this fat kid. We'll be uh -huh. gone before you know it." Oh, they had to watch. They they filmed the laundry set. Yeah. There's a lot of downtime, but I took it out of the wash and put it in the dryer. To you bring your purdy with you? My purdy? You know, the one you flip up every now and then? Ah, just joking, fat. Go ahead. Oh, fat. That's rough. <laughs> and I missed a spot shaving that day, so I hope they didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Oh, no high death, all right? Yeah, yeah. I've got a face for low death. Yes. So, anyway, I'm going to spinning class tomorrow, too. Mary Sue's coming. Wow. So, uh, that's be fun. we better make her feel welcome. Oh, Some, yeah, Mary Sue's a little bit timid. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit quiet. I think she's got a wild side. Well, her husband retired from the police force, so he's got no job, and she's got two jobs. I said, that doesn't seem fair. Hmm. Well, you may have three jobs. One of them can't talk about the radio. I mean, I'm the internet. Oh. Man. 
interesting. Anyhow, well, yeah. he probably put his time in right? Yeah, I think he worked for like 33 years, so that's not nothing. Bonk. All right. Anything more to add, Pat? No, Pat. Well, I've probably said too much. No, no, Pat. Just enough. All right. Well, knock on wood. Keep it classy in the web. Get well soon, boss. And until I see you tomorrow, I bid you all a and a do. Oh, that was nice.